Hello, it's me. Now, I was going to call you, but I decided to record a video so that you guys can listen to me when you have the time to listen to me. So here we go. I want to talk to you a little bit my, about my health journey because I think it's important um, It's important for your future health. Um, you know, when I was about 12 years old, I started having these... Um, these uh, dry patches on my skin looks more like you know like alligator or whatever and it continued until I graduate I almost graduated from um, college and the doctors you know they gave me some crazy notions about oh that's just you know african-american skin blah 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 but when I was um, in my last semester of college I got really sick and that's when I got to see a dermatologist and the dermatologist told me that I had a type of skin cancer called mycosis fungoides. So what happened was I went through and finished my last semester. And after I graduated from college, I went into a year long treatment for my skin. Now it cleared up. It was a UV light um, treatment. They call PUVA treatment. And it was a long process, but my skin did eventually clear up a couple years later the uh, mycosis fungoides came back into hi in hyperpigmentation um, in the hyperpigmentation form. Then I went to treatment again, it cleared up, it came back again, went into treatment again, cleared up, went in, you know, on and on and on. Came down here to um, South Carolina, um, it came back again, went into treatment again, it went away, but it came back quickly. So over the period of, you know, years, many years, um, um, it would go away and then every two years or so it would come back again. And this last time when it came back, like five months after I completed like a year of treatment, it came right back and I was fed up and frustrated and I just let it go. The doctor said, you know, this is a slow growing type of cancer. Um, so I don't, I didn't have to go right back into treatment. Well, I let about five, six years pass. I didn't think about it. My skin was getting worse and worse. I was getting sicker and sicker and I didn't realize it until I was really sick. So about two years ago, again, um, I got really sick, just malnutrition. My health was just suffering. And I said, you know what? I don't want to do treatment again. I've done it for the past 15 years. It hasn't worked. Nothing is working. And that's when I was introduced. I think Chris sent me a video by um, this lady called Barbara O'Neill. And she runs a, uh, like a retreat, a health retreat in Australia called Misty Mountains. And I ran across her videos on YouTube. Okay. So I went down the rabbit hole of researching, um, watching all her videos, researching cancer, researching what caused cancer. I ran into web, um, I ran into uh, videos by Mark Hyman. He runs the doctor's pharmacy. I also ran into videos by Tom B um, Bilyeu, um, who ran Impact Theory on Health. And these are all free on YouTube. The videos are available right now. But to boil it down, what I learned um, by listening to Barbara, Mark, and Tom is that all sickness starts in the gut. It starts in your belly. It starts in what you eat, okay? What I learned from Barbara is that cancer feeds on sugar, all right? So if you have a lot of sugar in your body, if you're eating foods that have sugar in it, you're just feeding the cancer. And so I also learned that dairy and gluten are also things that um, enables, that ruins your gut, the bacteria in your, in your gut, and can lead to sickness. So what I did was I completely reversed how I ate, completely reversed it. I said, okay, that you know what the doctors did over the years, it managed the cancer, but it didn't kill the cancer. And so I completely reversed how I ate. I cut out 
all sugars for six months. I did not for six weeks. I didn't eat any fruit. I didn't eat anything that contained fructose. Then I slowly brought fruit back in my diet, but I did not bring back sugar. I don't eat anything that contains sugar. 99.9% .9 of the food I eat doesn't have any sugar in there. Um, if I want to sweeten something, like if I'm baking, I might use a maple syrup, which is a natural sugar, or honey, which is also a natural sugar. You can also use something like stevia or agave if your body can handle those. Those are natural sugars. But as far as using the cane sugar or derivatives of cane sugar, I do not eat anything that has that in there. And just so you know, 99% of processed foods have the sugar in it. All right. Also, dairy. Dairy is very instrumental in ruining your gut bacteria. All right. Also, gluten. A lot of people might not be um, have celiac disease or anything like that, but they can still be sensitive to gluten. And I had the test done and I was sensitive to gluten. So I had to cut out, um, like pastas and bread and anything that had wheat in it. And again, 99% of processed foods have some form of wheat in it. So you have to be careful there. Um, and why is it important to get your gut good? All right. It's important to have a good gut because your gut is connected to your brain. It's connected to all parts of your body and it's connected to your overall health. So if your gut is not healthy, your brain isn't healthy and your overall health isn't healthy. Now I'm going to put some, a link at the bottom, which is the last, um, the last web, uh, episode that I watched that really talked about the link between your gut and your brain. And if you can clean up your gut, um, it doesn't matter what, um, illness you have in your brain or in your body, you can actually reverse that illness. Now I'm going to show you a picture of what my skin looked like, um, two years ago. Um, as you can see, I had the hyperpigmentation throughout my skin, um, which you can't really see very well is that I had a lot of, um, uh, 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 sores, kind of like small sores on my skin, on my legs and on my arms. And you can't see how weak and tired I had become because my body was spending so much time trying to fight this cancer that um, the my overall health was taking a toll. And so what happened was, like I said, I completely redid my diet. I got rid of all sugars. I ate, um, I wasn't a big dairy fan, but I, I reduced my dairy consumption, I mean, by like 90%. And as far as the gluten, I had cut out all gluten and all processed foods. And I was just eating foods, whole foods that I cooked, vegetables, um, organic meats, organic vegetables. Everything I bought was organic. And really, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. You have to change your mind. And I changed my mind from all of those things. And I stayed on the course. Now, here's a picture of what my skin looked like today. Now, I want you to focus on the date that you see in that it took me a year and a half to get from where I was to where I am right now. So this is not a process that you're going to change your diet in five months and all of a sudden everything is going to be fine or in five weeks or in five days, all of it you're going to be fine. This has to be a lifelong commitment. It takes time to get results. But if you are committed to improving your health, improving your brain, improving how you function in this world, how your body functions, you have to give it time to work. Another thing that was very important for me was exercise because that's also important in 
um, getting rid of cancer cells in your body. And it's also important to improve in your brain function. So if you can get in exercise in the morning, um, when the air is fresh, going outside and getting exercise is the most important because you want to fill your body with as much oxygen as possible because that oxygen is going to kill the cancer cells or it's going to infuse your body with the um, oxygen you need to get inside your brain to let your brain operate at its full capacity. So if you can get in um, you know, an hour of walking or jogging or whatever it is outside. If you can go to a place where there's plenty of trees around you so you can inhale that oxygen, that would also help um, your health in the long run. Um, and these are things that I'm sharing with you that I have done um, in the past year and a half. And it has been so beneficial in my health where I feel younger now than I did five years ago. What I also want you to do is get educated. What as much programs, as many programs as you can, and I've given you a few that you can watch, and just educate yourself on the importance of food as medicine. Food is your medicine, and if you eat well, you will, um, your body will thank you for it. Um, and you can bypass a lot of the health crisis that a lot of people are suffering with. You can bypass um, high blood pressure. You can bypass diabetes. You can bypass mental health issues. If you just eat well and take care of your body, it all comes down to the food you eat by working together okay by working together and coming up with a program for the entire family the entire family can heal because the wrong food causes inflammation which causes all sicknesses okay i'm gonna say that again the wrong food causes inflammation which leads to all sicknesses, whether it's sickness in the body, whether it's sickness in the brain, and whether it's sickness in, um, you know, and anywhere. So by helping one person with the diet, by working together, um, by working together and going in this and cleaning up your diet together, you can help everyone in your family. All right. So when I went on this sugar, no sugar, um, no dairy, no wheat um, journey, I took my son, my son along with me. Um, we didn't have sugar in the house. We didn't have anything that contained sugar in the house. Every now and then, you know, I, I would buy cereal. He'll, he'll eat certain cereals. I would look to make sure that the sugar content isn't as high and things like that. But for the most part, um, I learned how to bake without sugar. I found recipes online that didn't use um, sugar or wheat or, or dairy. And I found ways that we can still eat the same foods we eat, but make it healthier. So as a family, we came together and went on this journey. So it made it easier for me and as a result, not only I'm healthier, but he's healthier also. And as you know, my sisters and, all, and I also, they also followed along and started um, listening to the things that I was learning and doing what I was learning. And they are also healthier in the long run also. So this isn't a one person. Um, try not to let this be a one person thing. Let it be a family thing, because I think if you work as a family, all of you can benefit at the same time. So I hope this helped. I just wanted to share this journey to show you that food is definitely medicine. After 15 years of in and out of treatment, by changing my diet, I changed my diagnosis. And that was all I did this time. But again, this was not something that happened overnight. 
This was a commitment that I made and it took me almost a year and a half to see the changes in my skin. Um, it gradually changed um, to the point where I could show you that picture where it's completely night and day. And so I am continuing on this way of life because I see that it is beneficial. Now I did also um, take some supplements that my nutritionist had given me to help me on this journey, um, but I didn't take any um, medication. Um, but like I said in the beginning, when my skin was, when I'd let my skin get so far, it was necessary for me to go to the doctor and for, the, for me to use their medicine in the beginning. But now that I've learned how to, um, the root cause of my problem, um, I no longer, I can now use food as my medicine. So in the beginning, you might need to use the doctor's therapy, but know that the cure is going to be in what you eat the cure is going to be in um, creating a healthy gut. Um, and if you have a leaky gut or anything like that, creating a healthy gut. And the best way to create a healthy gut, first, get rid of your sugar, get rid of the dairy, and get rid of the gluten or the wheat. Um, if you can do that, you will repair, you can help start repairing your gut and start repairing the body which then repairs the mind. And so your body and your mind can then function. So I hope this helped. Um, um, I love you guys. And I hope to talk to you soon.